let us look at some uh, quadratic function simplification examples. So you're, you've got a quadratic uh, function or quadratic fraction. Uh, the numerator is a quadratic trinomial. And so what we're going to do is we're going to factorize this. So yeah, it's x squared plus 5x plus 6. So obviously you have to put this in two brackets. So I'll write x and x. So the two factors of of 6, which gives you 5, are 3 and 2. So it is plus 3, plus 2. So you can, x times x is x squared, and 3 times 2 is 6. But the main thing that you need to check for each type of factorization is, you need to check this is, this is 3x, this is 3x, and this is 2x. Hopefully you can see this is x times 2 is 2x. And these two should add to give you 5x. So we are right, so x plus 3 times x plus 5 is, x plus 3 times x plus 2 is right, factorization of the numerator. So the denominator is nothing but x plus 3. You can't do anything, you're not, you cannot simplify that any further. So you've got x plus 3 and x plus 3 in the numerator and denominator and they can be cancelled. So the answer, the simplified form is nothing but x plus 2, just like that. Okay, the next question, you got x squared minus 6x minus, sorry, plus 9 over x minus 3. So we'll start with x in two brackets because you want x squared. So the two factors of 9, which gives you negative 3, are obviously negative 3 times negative 3. So always good to check, this is, multiply this two, and you multiply this two. Okay, so what is this? This is minus 3x, and this is also minus 3x. And it's always good to write, uh, you can, if you can't do it mentally, it's good to write like this, minus 3x minus 3x is minus 6x, and that's what we want as the middle term. So the denominator is x minus 3. The denominator is x minus 3. So this x minus 3 and x minus 3 gets cancelled. So what remains is x minus 3, just like that. Okay, let us look at one more question. Here, we cannot simplify the numerator, but we can simplify the denominator. So the numerator is nothing but x minus 3. And the denominator, I'll first start with x and x in the two brackets. The two factors of 15, which gives you negative 8. Okay, or uh, because as you got a plus number, you, both the numbers have to be negative because negative times negative gives you positive. So I think it is pretty simple, negative 5, negative 3. Always confirm the middle term. This is, this is your minus 5x minus 5 times x is minus 5x and this is x times negative 3 is negative 3x. You don't need to write this every time but you, you should do a mental check at after factorizing. So this and this gets cancelled. Okay, now this is where you may struggle. Now this, can I write the numerator x minus 3 times 1? because you write 1, this, the numerator can be written as x minus 3 times 1. So this and this gets cancelled. So your answer would be 1 over x minus 5. This is where some students find difficulty. They don't understand where the 1 came from. 1 is always there. It's a very humble number. Okay, 1 is, 1 will appear only when it is necessary. So this is one which has come from here. Okay, so what happens here? Here we have to factorize both the numerator and the denominator. So you can pause the video if you want to and try to do this yourself. So I'll put this in bracket. You can start with x, 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 and x in all the brackets. So let us think of the numerator. Hopefully you've done it. So here, the two factors of negative 21 which gives you 
negative 7. So the greater has to be negative, the smaller has to be positive because we want a negative number. So this is negative 7 plus 3. So you can check this is minus, so let me show you this. So this is minus 7x and this is plus 3x. Okay, so just so that you can see, I'll write this. This is negative 7x and this is plus 3x. And these two does give you minus 4x. And as it is plus, it's easier. So let me use a brown color. So it's plus 5 plus 3 just like that so this is 5x and 3x gives you 8x so we can cancel this x plus 3 and x plus 3 so your final answer is equal to x minus 7 over x plus 5 just like that